Good morning, it's Edna Keep here live with Free Coaching Friday. And remember, if you need my help scaling your real estate business with some of the strategies I share with you on these uh, calls, reach out to me at 90days2k.com. Uh, thanks for listening, everyone. So today we wanna talk about um, another scaling opportunity, and it is REITs, also known as Real Estate Investment Trusts. So uh, what we've learned is that once you have um, a portfolio of a certain size, it makes sense to uh, set things up in a REIT. And the reason is, is uh, first of all, scalability, um, but also it really reduces your expenses. When you look at uh, having overall management teams that manage all your assets, uh, there, there's definitely uh, benefits to, to running things under a REIT. Um, there, there is costs uh, by having, you know, the, the way that we set up our um, investments now is each and every property is owned by a separate corporation, uh, has a separate set of books and all that kind of stuff. So the income is uh, 100%, the income expenses are 100% based on that particular project or that particular um, uh, building. Uh, and in a REIT, it's, uh, it's diversification. So across the board, you're diversified among uh, several uh, properties. Uh, so you get the uh, uh, less ups and downs um, of what's happening with one particular property. Um, economies of scale means you can uh, hire uh, different people, better people, uh, manage them, uh, because as you get bigger, there's just um, there's just things that you can do that, you know, purchases, for example, flooring and fridges and stoves and siding, whatever you're doing on your building, you can get better rates if you're, if you're dealing with a whole bunch of properties and, and getting things done. Property management, property management software, uh, even bank accounts, you know, Quicken, all that different stuff is all based on economies of scale. If you have one property, it's a certain cost, and then, but then as you go up uh, and consolidate some of that stuff, it uh, definitely saves you some money. So um, what are some other benefits of REITs? Well, you know what, there's rules and regulations that you have to follow uh, whenever you set up uh, a property, or. Um, a real estate investment trust. Uh, for example, one of the fellows I was talking to just recently in doing my due diligence is he does not buy anything under a seven cap. And uh, it's actually written in the mandate of the uh, REIT that he set up. So that, um, that's uh, that standard. He won't look at anything that doesn't provide at least a seven cap. Uh, and nowadays, in, in a lot of areas, seven cap is really difficult to find. So it, uh, you know, it, it forces you um, to really, really, really look for the bargains. But what I've also found in talking to different people that own uh, REITs is if they can go into a community and buy like 300 or 500 units at one time, again, economies of scale, you can get them for better prices than you can when you're just buying, you know, a 12 or 18 unit at a time. Um, you can get better financing. And uh, then, then again, the, uh, the REITs usually pay out a six or 7% annual return on your money. And your principal, you can access any time you want as well. Uh, so if you come up with a, an emergency where you get, need to get your money out, it's easier inside of a REIT than it is inside of a joint venture. Because, you know, um, we've had instances where uh, people have needed to get out for health reasons or losing a job, stuff like that. And, you know, as much as we try to uh, help people out in a time uh, of need like that, there's sometimes that our hands are just tied. You know, if the market's doing really well and the asset's doing really well, it's generally pretty easy to pull in a new investor. But if the markets are challenging, which is most of the time when people seem to need out, it's not that easy. So in a REIT, um, there's, uh, there's always new money coming in for it uh, to fund that. And I mean, again, there's certain rules. Uh, we actually had uh, rolled our money over. I was telling you about the one uh, fellow that we um, 
that we were talking to about his REIT. Uh, we had some money invested in there and he used to do his very similar to ours, the way he had each property that he bought was under a separate corporation. And so we were in one particular one and he rolled us all over into a REIT. And there, was, there were some stipulations, like it took a while before you could start accessing your principal. Um, there was still the unit factor paid out every, every month in the meantime, but you couldn't like totally drain the fund. And, and I mean, there's safety factors in place for a reason. If you try to drain the fund, well then the, the fund ends up uh, not, not being able to do what it's meant to do. So with, with those things in mind, uh, there's some safety factors there for everybody, uh, for the REIT managers and also for the REIT holders. So um, as, as I learn more and more about this uh, fascinating uh, side of things, I'll definitely share with you. Uh, we're having another meeting next week uh, to talk to the C CFO um, uh, about uh, the accounting procedures and, and apparently reporting is, is uh, different inside too. So I got to get my head wrapped around how that reporting works and stuff and, and see how things go from there. So there's my little blurb on uh, real estate investment trust today. Like I said, I will keep you informed as, as things progress and give you more details as I learn them. But what I am learning so far is uh, it can diversify people uh, across several properties uh, and also allows us to you know, bring in um, uh, larger institutional investors as well. And uh, you know, sometimes a million dollars at a time, two million dollars at a time. So then uh, your your fund can go and buy even more strong cash flowing properties in more uh, diverse areas as well. So those are some of the things that we're working on. And like I said, we'll keep you informed. So again, if you need my help scaling your real estate portfolio, reach out to me at 90days2k.com. And have a very very good weekend. And we'll talk to y'all next week. Bye for now. Hey, hi everyone. Nice to see you guys on. Hi TJ. Hi Walter. Hi Rosa. Long time no see Rosa. Hi John. Hey, welcome back. Um, and, and oh, I got a few more names here. I'm cut. not sure how to pronounce them. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks very much for listening and we'll talk to y'all soon. Bye for now.